Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today, somebody sent me a, a drawing that they needed help with, and it was full of guidelines. So I thought I'd make a video. There's like four ways to get rid of the, the guidelines, and they're all a little bit different, and they all have their advantages maybe a little bit. One, in later versions, Corel, you've got a guideline, and all you have to click on it, and it gets rid of the guideways, guidelines. So that's number one. The good thing about that is they're always there if you want them back. The other way is go to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and right here, if you hide all the guidelines with this eyeball and show them or not showing, they're still there. Now what you can do, you can select all the guidelines and hit Delete. Well, you'd actually have to go here, go to the bottom and hold down the shift key and grab them all and then hit delete and it'll get rid of all the guidelines. The only disadvantage is they're gone and you can't really bring them back later. The other way is go to view and take away the guidelines like here, which, which works the same as this one. So go to view and show your guidelines. The other way is go to edit find all guidelines and it you don't have to have the object manager open let's go to edit find all guidelines and then hit delete the divit, the disadvantage of that again is you can't get them back because once you go past a couple of clicks and you can't undo so there's like four ways to change the guideline probably the easiest unless you're going to send it to a customer and you don't want the guidelines ever to be there this is probably the easiest with that icon right up here. I don't know when that started in Corel, but, and you can always add that guideline or add that graphic to your older versions of Corel. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you.